is Dr. James DeLapp with the University of Colorado School of Dental Medicine with a video snippet on altered casts and removable partial dentures. First, add triad base material to the edentulous framework saddle. Verify framework seating in the patient's mouth prior to proceeding. Outline the extensions of the triad base saddle on the master cast and pencil. The red marker outlines the area of the cast to be cut out for the altered saddle. Use a handsaw to cut out the saddle area on the master cast. Retention divots are placed in the master cast to secure the second pour. Next, water mold the extensions in the patient's mouth. Trim away excess green compound and apply PVS adhesive. Again, verify seating of the framework after border molding. Make an impression of the saddle area with pressures on the rests and clasps only. Do not touch the saddle. Remove any excess material to ensure a good fit on the section master cast. Place the impression on the sectioned altered cast and verify that all rests seat completely before proceeding. Make sure you can see that the impression clears the margins of the sections cast. Using sticky wax, affix a framework to the master cast to prevent movement. Using red boxing wax, encircle the master cast so the second plaster pour will only fill the impression of the edentulous ridge. Seal all areas from underneath to make a watertight seal. Wet the cast and conduct a second pour in buff stone. When finished, there should be a smooth integration between the two stones, accurately capturing the tissue height in the saddle area. This is Dr. James Delap with a video snippet on altered cast impressions.